Jesse Smollett just won't leave us alone. He's doing a new interview with Sway and basically is doubling down on his innocence and why he didn't need to do this for Cloud. He had multiple things in the works, including Broadway. He's also talking about his experience of being in jail. I didn't want to do this, but let's talk about it. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So it's been a while since we talked about Jesse Smollett, and that was intentional. That was intentional. I already know, yes, Mona Scott Young and Jesse Smollett are working on something that I believe is coming to BET+. Plus. Good for him. But as you also know, he's still dealing with this whole situation that he was convicted for. He was only in jail for a few days before he was released while he is seeking an appeal. And I said, Jesse, just do your time. Just do your time. That way we can move on and then you can have a prosperous career. But now you're trying to have a prosperous career and still facing jail time. <sighs> Anyway, so he dropped by Sway's Universe to promote whatever projects he has going on. And, of course, the conversation about his conviction, his time in jail, has come up. It's like finding out that someone is exactly the opposite of who they claim to be. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm if I had done this, I'd be a piece of shit. Yeah. And I don't think that that is, I don't think that that is kind of, that's not really questionable. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when people are like, yes, there's a lot of other stuff happening, but that would be really, and again, it's something that I wanted to say, if I had done something like this, it would mean that I stuck my fist in the pain of black Americans in this country for over 400 years. Mm -hmm. We're not even talking about in Africa, because that's, that's an even deeper, larger conversation. It would mean that I stuck my fist in the fears of the LGBTQ community all over the world. Mm -hmm. I'm not that motherfucker. Never have been. Don't need to be. Didn't need to have a some sort of rise in his career. I was on the up and up. I was coming from New York, from doing a table read for my dream role in a Broadway show. I had just optioned the rights to the autobiography, the authorized autobiography of Alvin Ailey. I had oh. just, all of these things that I was <clears throat> creating there would be no reason for me to do some dumb, corny shit like that. Uh -huh. But people are gonna believe what they believe, and what I have to do is, I have to keep working. You have to keep working, and that's- And what I know for sure is, every single thing that I auditioned for during that period, I lost. They took it from me. But every single thing that I created, myself- It's being created. Is being created. Never again will anybody be able to pull my life from under me like a rug. There you Never go. Again. Just you small left. And he basically says, I didn't need to do this for clout. I didn't need to do, you know, what they're accusing me. And if I did, <laughs> there was a lot of ifs in what he was saying. So here's the thing, Jesse. I don't want to even go back and forth on whether or not Jesse or, you know, did he do it or did he not do it? Here's the thing. Jesse, I am tired of this. I believe you did it. I do. And in the court of law, I don't even have to say allegedly. You've been convicted of faking this hate crime. And yes, you did cause issues. And not in our Pride Month we're talking about this. You did cause issues for black people. You caused issues for the LGBTQI plus community. By extending this and you saying oh i had multiple things going on well according to the streets you didn't have enough airtime on empire things weren't necessarily going going well for you especially when it comes to that because yeah you had these other projects happening your dream role on broadway was it to play barbara streisand like love b scott said during their podcast check out that video that i did on that and and it, honestly be talking about this situation and telling us about the Barbara Streisand idea that Jesse had in his head. And this was years, just when Empire was starting. It just confirmed for me B. Scott's conversation about that, B. Scott's story on that. Because you really think you are 
this level of fame that you are not. And basically your role on Empire had been somewhat diminished, had been somewhat diminished. Empire was not getting the ratings that it was getting before. And then when you did this, you, you pretty much put the nail in the coffin for them. Let's be real. So Jesse not only talked about that, he also talked about his experience in jail. And remember, there was a story where they were saying that he was not eating. He was in a psych ward. Behind bars, how did you make it through that? What was your saving grace? God. Yeah. And my family. Um, I fasted. I was there for six and a half days. I fasted for six and a half days. Uh, my lawyer, shout out to Ninye, but he was lying when he said that I was fasting for Lent. Uh -huh. I wasn't fasting for Lent. I was fasting because that's what we do in my family. Like we fast for, right. for clarity, for I have never in my life, at least in my adult life, been as clear of mind as I was for those six and a half days. And it was almost like when they told me that I was getting out, what I was doing is I was fasting until I found out whether or not I was gonna be in there for those five and a half months. Yeah just wanted to know what my life was about to look like. So I was fast and getting, and I had been prepping, you know, my, my family, most wonderful human beings, I live and die for them. You got people. an amazing family. Oh Let God. me say that for the oh record. You got Jake, an amazing, oh Jesse Smollett got an amazing oh family. Yeah, every, yeah. The mom, when the I mom. see the mom, I'm at attention, like waiting for my <laughs> mission. Let me tell you something, mommy yes. don't go nowhere. Yes. Mommy is a house cat, okay? Mm -hmm. But she was like, watch me stay in LA and my baby is in Chicago. Like mm -hmm. she, she did not play and um um sorry uh yeah so being um being being behind bars uh i fasted for six and a half days and there was a part where they told me that i was getting out i lord knows i wanted to get out Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm in the fucking psych ward on, you know, and Did they have you in a jacket? No, no, okay. no, no. They didn't have me in a jacket, but they had me. I was sleeping on a on like a like a restraint bed. Mm -hmm. I wasn't restrained. And I have to keep it real. Everybody, you know, um uh uh was inside was very kind. And when I left, I thanked them all. I said, I don't know what y'all think. Either way, but the fact that you didn't let me know what you think either way and you just showed me respect, I'm grateful for. He did say the officers there did not treat him in any other way. They did not, you know, treat him badly because they believed that he did or anything like that. He said they treated him very well. They treated you very well because they didn't need you accusing them of anything. Like you accused those, those black men of, originally were white men when he first reported on this. Anyways. They didn't want to be accused of anything. So while he was in jail, he was fasting. I believe he said he fasted for several days. And he said that his lawyer lied and said, and he, he showed love to his lawyer because I'm, I'm assuming the lawyer is still his lawyer. He, he lied about that he was fasting for Lent. He's like, no, this is something that we do in our family for, for clarity. Did you get the clarity that you should stop lying about this? And maybe stop talking about this. And maybe in your interview prep, let them know, let's not talk about that. That's a pending legal case. So you can move on with your career. However, because you've dug so deep into this, everyone, they were just saying, calling Crystal from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Crystal Smollett, because they don't believe what she's saying. So now your name, you've ruined the Smollett name. You know, you know, you know Shame on you. Somebody was rooting for you. Maybe your mama, but I'm not. <laughs> Shame on you for ruining that family name. Journey, bring it back. Bring it home. Journey needs a, a, a hit series again or something just to bring back the Smollett name to, 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 to where it used to be. Jesse Smollett, stop talking. Go do your time so that this is, there is not this dark shadow this dark cloud, Crystal, <laughs> over your career. And I do believe the rumors that you did this so that you could get more attention, that you could get some clout. Your dream role on Broadway, he said he, he had bought the options to, to the Alvin Ailey story. Good for you. Good for you. 
there's a level of delusion that maybe we all need from from Jesse. However, let's just not involve the police in actual real pain. Guys, as always, let's continue this conversation below. I want to know your reaction to this interview with Sway and Jesse Smollett. Do you believe him after this conversation? I mean, there are people. There are people that believe Jesse, and you have a right to that. Let's have that conversation below. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.